and welcome to episode four. Tina, Sarah, ready to do some artwork <laughs> or show you some artwork. Today we're having the game Broom Service that we're doing art pieces for. My dear, would you please? This is the box. It's a competitive game for two to five players that are 10 years or older for 45 or 75 minutes, depending on what version of the game you're playing. You can put down the box and have Thank your you. lovely face <laughs> in the camera again. Don't need to have the cardboard face. So uh, what was the focus or what did you want to accomplish in your painting? Well, I was pretty much focusing on the competitive uh, character and I tried to get as many kinds of characters into the picture as I could and yeah try to make it a uh, bright cheerful colorful oh. just like a fairy tale yeah it's it could be I'm going to take away one thing it could be from a fairy tale children's book <laughs> so uh, I uh, focused on the delivery part of um, of the of the game so pretty much um, DHL or FedEx for witches and their <laughs> brews and uh, I try to depict a scene where the witch is well collecting all the different kinds of potions together before she heads out on her broom and delivers them to people in need. So uh, let's show them what we painted. Let's show them. All right. Can you see what I sketch? You can't? What? <laughs> the invisible sketch. <laughs> yeah, I I went with the watercolor pencil again. I'm still with the graphite pencil there. But I'm going to change it, promise. Yeah, well, <laughs> we know because we are from the future. <laughs> so very much from the future. <laughs> very much. Very, very futuristic. Yeah, um... We, oh no, this time around, first time around, you're on a bigger surface. I'm having the smaller yep. one this time. Yeah, true. I needed the bigger surface because, as always, I'm very much into detail. Yeah. Although uh, you are having quite detailed uh, parts there too. Well, <laughs> I have to say <laughs> it was actually kind of... <laughs> to ink all the bottles yeah. and color them. Oh gosh, yeah. I was like, oh, maybe I should have had two, <laughs> two less shelves or something, two fewer I shelves. I didn't envy you for that. <laughs> oh yeah, well, what to do? I mean, that's uh, that's when I go in kind of like into a Zen mode when I have the same lines in the same colors over and over again in multiple rows that's, there. That's pretty much like your uh, adult coloring box. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's kind of like it. Oh yeah. I'm already inking. And you? <laughs> no. Same as always. <laughs> I don't know. Let me uh, yeah. check the check list. How, who took how long while we do have the non so spectacular part uh, of the video, which is the sketch where you can't see anything. <laughs> um, we were at the broom service. You took 120 minutes and I did 97. Yeah. Uh, not surprising. <laughs> I had a smaller surface than you, so... Yeah, and Go I figure. had so many lines to deal with. Yeah. Uh, for me, since I had the the witch from the backside, there's not a lot of detail or lines that I uh, needed to put in there. Um, so that was a faster thing, and then it was actually just... That took the longest, inking all those bottles and yeah. then coloring them. And I tried to make them look, well, Definitely. not all the same, yeah, so just that I'm not in the I'm snoring, I'm <laughs> going to sleep because <laughs> I painted the same thing uh, over and over again. Yeah, so I, I, I 
probably would have gotten like really mad at this picture if I had to draw. I was at that point where I said, oh god damn it, <laughs> but well, I wanted oh. that scenery, so. This time uh, it's the first time I'm not using the brush for the yeah, outlines. Yeah, 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 you're using the pen. And how did it work? Did you like it better or? Um, the lines are very consistent with this one, mm -hmm. um, but it's depending on the on the um, on the nib. Yeah, on the nib. Uh, when I tried it uh, uh, out of camera, mm -hmm. the the other nib mm -hmm. wasn't as consistent, and so I avoided that for the first pictures I did. Uh, this one did so well. I just needed a little bit ink for really many lines. Yes, yes and it holds uh, the liquid quite long. It was awesome. Uh, and it works fine for more detailed pictures. Mm -hmm. um, if you have less details, um, the inconsistent line work of the uh, brush mm -hmm. makes it more interesting, I guess. Yeah, um, also those lines are way thinner than with a brush. Yeah. So uh, they could get kind of lost, I guess, when you have less detail. Yeah. But the more tiny things that you have, especially on the bottom part of your page, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess it was a, a very good choice uh, to use the pen there, not the brush. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I did that. Yeah, I can imagine. I didn't really much like how the faces turned out on my picture. Why? They I... look so angry, like really fighting for the uh, potions. Yeah, but they seem, at least to me, to be a bit, um, well, unparalleled. Ah, okay. It's like, like the per perspective doesn't fit really. But then you covered that up nicely by staying with the children's book kind of style <laughs> when it comes to the colors. So yeah. when you look at the finished painting, you don't actually realize it. Right now when you just have the ink I can see what you mean mm -hmm. but with the colors you um, cover it, that up nicely just by the style you chose and how you painted it. There you can see the eyes back I had. Oh yeah! <laughs> it was, yeah she got that day she was actually uh, getting a wisdom tooth removed and still came over uh, to celebrate my decay <laughs> and also painting quite late at night with your eyes back on your face. I totally forgot that. <laughs> I just I just noticed that and I thought it might be interesting for, for the audience. Uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm also coloring, so this time yeah, we're, way, finally. <laughs> we're way closer with the coloring start, starting process, whatever. Great English, Sarah. Great I didn't English. notice, did you draw that by hand, that uh, little with the same, letters? the same pen that you used for your line work. So you did calligraphy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's cool, I just didn't notice it because <laughs> you were talking about the ice bag. <laughs> well, there's more important things to tell yeah. than what pen and what nib I use for my, for my writing. But yeah, I, I pretty much try to focus on the colors mm. uh, that are in the game and state rather simple, but I guess very close to the colors that are used in the token. And there, magic! <laughs> magic of fucked up SD card. So it's just stuck recording and uh, on the screen I couldn't see that it wasn't recording anymore because everything looked normal so for the rest of the video you gotta just look at parts of my painting right there. truth to be told you didn't want to show us your secrets what secret secrets of painting haha ha, no. <laughs> you know, you I was so you. mad I <laughs> was so mad well she it happens. Yeah, yeah, it does. Because I was kind of proud how the hair turned out because yeah, it's it red, orange great. and green. Yeah, all on one. And and uh, layering that, I was actually kind of proud, but yeah, not on the video. I, I also really like the details on yours. Like on the list, you can see the little bottles. <laughs> yeah, it was like, 
with that one brush I have that has only three hairs. Yes. <laughs> That's what I used <laughs> to color uh, in those tiny little bottles. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the, fortunately enough, it was the only hiccup that we had with yep. the SD card. All the other videos got recorded quite nicely, so yeah we can concentrate on your painting <laughs> yeah like always <laughs> no not true <laughs> but i really like that little gnome down there it's a yeah. favorite part of the day. <laughs> he's so sweet like do, 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 do. i'm yeah. walking and there's people fighting you could have you know walking. you could have cut out that part where i'm putting the ice bag back no that's part of the artistic process oh, right. has to be in there Right. No, the gnome is, seems to be like a thing that you usually would do. Yes, <laughs> so I yes. figured that yes. you, you would like that. Yeah. Um, so how did the skin tone work for you in this painting? Much the better. Last one much better. Done? I used much more water mm -hmm. because I knew what to expect. Mm -hmm. So it was easier to handle that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a bit more but I just didn't notice that after the picture was finished. Um, a bit more struggle with that um, composition. Like the figures, they should look more like being in fight or something. Now they only look like, hey, look, this is my broom. Hey, dude, I've got the longer broom or <laughs> stick or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can interpret whatever into that scenery i mean i see fighting and i also see just showing off which is <laughs> totally awesome <laughs> that you can make dirty jokes too so. <laughs> that's great no it's a children's picture you shouldn't make dirty jokes yeah they, they will make a child once you're not looking at the painting anymore oh shit <laughs> <Be awful. laughs> no no just kidding i know i know we, like um the cliche old dude with a really young yeah, bitch. Sugar there's, daddy. there's so much in this painting that you can see and that's not <laughs> totally obvious at the first glance, but yeah. I don't know if I want to know all the options. No, don't, don't. <laughs> no, you don't want to go there. I'm stopping right now. <laughs> there I go again with a much too small uh, brush for the big uh, sky over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But it still, well, worked out nicely, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. I was but quiet. I think it's kind of scary to use the big brushes when you yeah. say, "Oh, I got so much detail in there. I don't want to screw it up." <laughs> but um, again, watercolor makes things for you. It does things for you, and you don't have to overthink it. But letting go is really difficult. No, we are not gonna sing that song now. No, no. I mean. I listened to it last week while editing videos really late at night and being super tired but I wanted to get it done and then I get into the mood where uh, I'm listening to either the super pop culture songs <laughs> and uh, or really goofy songs and I had to let it go on repeat in different kinds of languages on my awesome. computer. You would have puked. Would you have been here? Probably. <laughs> I, oh, well. I'm not really into Disney and especially not because they are singing so much. And I, I just hate that. <laughs> Life is a song. And now everybody in our audience vomits as well because <laughs> I sang. But you yeah. could fit nicely into, into a black metal band. Yes, I'm very good with that. That's, that's I'm a not great that hard to hit the hit no. the tunes there. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a career option. <laughs> It's really amazing, by the way, coming back to your painting, how quickly now you um, fill in all the rest of your painting. Yeah. It's like uh, you, well, I, I always go with the broad, broad strokes first and then put in details and you go other way around. Yeah. So first it's the detail and then all the coloring yeah, I you know. Around I, it. I feel like I should spend all the energy that I have in the beginning in the, the little details and Later, then I get a bit tired of, of painting. I mm -hmm. just, you know, do the, the bigger stuff and, and just try to make the things I did in the beginning nicely. 
That's awesome. So, I always have to quote unquote loosen the muscles first, so I go go <laughs> for the backgrounds and the bigger stuff, and then when my muscles are warm, I'm going in for details usually. <laughs> Only if I'm painting witches, it's other way around because here I, I colored the background True. afterwards. But I went with the color over the bottles to not have them look too shiny, yep. but to uh, have them be part of the background pretty it's much. true, they don't look as clean as they did in the beginning of the video. But uh, it's a dusty old store and just like... So, you know? so the, that witch is basically uh, shipping old potions? Yes. So they could Customers be... Customers don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're brand new, we made them last so, night! So uh. that's the secret that you wanted to keep? Maybe. <laughs> so they bought one. I knew it. Well, there is no expiration date on potions, so I'm good to go. It's your claiming, but yes, of course. I don't believe I'm, that. I'm the owner of the store there, so <laughs> if you buy, you buy with a risk. Yeah, there you go. After the picture uh, was finished, I just wished, looking at it again, uh, that I had added some shadows on the on the plants, but. Funny well, enough, you can still do that. The watercolor yeah. that you have down there will uh, mix with the next layer that you put on top. I know, but it could uh, also take some attention from the uh, actual details. Yes, yes. Uh, then you would have... If you wanted to add more to the trees and bushes, you probably would have to add the same amount of color onto the two dudes there as well so that's that's our paintings for uh this lovely um game let us know which painting you like best and uh, vote in the comment section below also if you feel like giving this video a thumbs up or share it with your friends or subscribe to the channel go ahead we'd love that and we're going to see you next week also i want to add if you want to see us drawing a, or painting a particular game, uh, just let us know. Yeah, on the various social media pages that we are on. We own the internet. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>